Today we're going to go through a video of uh, doing a calibration with the X30 and the 7000 series tank. Uh, the first thing we're want, going to want to do is go into our monitor, the X30, and get it set up and prepared to do a calibration. So now we'll go up to the X30, we'll get to our seed rate controller screen, and we'll go into each tank and put the products in the tanks that we're going to be calibrating for. So today we're just going to do one tank and we're going to calibrate for 100 pounds of wheat. So we're going to pull out our tank one like it shows here. We're going to want to open it up to the expanded view. So we'll touch on the top arrow. It expands it. Now we're going to want to put wheat into the tank. We'll touch on to the product button and then the list will come up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the product name. Now you can scroll down and find the product that you want to calibrate for. Today we're going to do wheat, hard red. Then we're going to hit the green check mark. Now you can see that we have wheat on there. Now we're going to have to go through and set our preset. The first one is the rate increment. So the amount that we can change by touching the plus or minus sign. So today we're going to just put it as 10. Hit the green check mark. Now we're going to want to do our preset one. So we're wanting to calibrate for 100 pounds. So we'll put 100 pounds. Hit the green check mark. Preset two, so you can add another preset if there's spots you want to change it to within the field. So let's say we'll put 90 pounds. Once you've done this, you can see that you can see the calibration factor that the monitor thinks it has in there for wheat, and then also the density of the product. Once we're ready to go, we just hit the green check mark. Now it'll ask you if you want to fill the tank. For right now, all we're going to do is calibrate. We're not filling, so we're going to press no. And do you want to set preset one as your requested rate? Which is yes, that's the one that we wanted to calibrate for. Once you're done that, your tank is set up. Now we can go into the calibration mode. You'll want to touch on, on the right hand side, the button that has the wrench and the sprocket. The first thing that you're going to want to do in here with a new monitor is turn, put in a manual speed because we calibrate with a manual speed. So we hit manual and then we hit the button below that has manual speed and we can go in there and we can enter a speed in there. We'll want to put a speed in there that is close to the average speed that you're going to be seating at. So let's say we're just going to go at five mile an hour. So we'll just put five mile an hour. Press OK. Now we have a manual speed in there. Now we're able to go and do a calibration. So to go into calibrate mode, we'll want to go into multi-tank calibration. And then from there we'll hit the automatic calibration. When the first comes up, it tells you it's ready to go and you're set to begin. So we'll just hit the yellow check mark. And now we're into our calibrate screen. Now we're ready to go back to our tank and start doing the calibration process. The first thing you're going to want to do when you get to your machine is you're going to want to turn the fans off. So you're going to hit the fill or the fill cal button. The first time you touch it, it's going to send a hydraulic flow up to your, your conveyor or your auger. If you hit the fill cal button again, It'll register fill cal on the remote and you'll also hear the oil bypassing through the metering system. Once we have the metering system ready to calibrate, we have to change our down spout out of the air stream and down into our calibration tube so it drops it into a pail. Before we do any calibration, we're going to want to zero our scale. With the 7000 series tank, we offer a digital scale that is terrible. So all we have to do, hit the on button, wait for it to come on. Once it's on, we'll pick up our bucket. 
and we'll hit the on and zero button. Push and hold it, let go, and you should see it go to zero. And also when you take the pail off the scale, it should show you the weight of the pail. Take note that it doesn't show a negative number, it'll just show a number of the pail. So now that we're ready to do the calibration, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to charge the metering augers. So you're going to want to turn on the clutches to the corresponding metering augers that you're wanting to do the calibration. Turn the clutch on, and then we'll hit the master. Once you get product coming out, the metering auger will be charged. The reason why we charge the augers is so we don't have any false revolutions with no product going through the metering auger. So now we can go underneath, we can change that pail out, put an empty pail in. We want to change the pail out just because we don't want to have a false reading of weight to take back to the X30. Now that we have a clean pail, we want to reset the X30 because it has counted pulses in the monitor. So we'll just touch and hold the reset button until the light goes out. Once the light goes out, that tells us that it's reset the X30 and we're ready to calibrate. So now we'll hit the master on. If we were doing a multi-tank calibration and we had other tanks going and they fill up faster than one or the other, all you have to do is turn off the corresponding clutch when they get full. So we'll wait until we get two-thirds of a pail and then we can shut the master off. Now we can go under, we can grab our pail and we can weigh the product. Before we put the pail on to the scale, we want to make sure that there's a weight registered in there for the pail. Weigh the pail, 31.90. Now we can go back into the X30 and we can enter that weight into there. Go back into our X30. We'll have to skip over to the next page where we can enter the weight, so we'll hit that yellow check mark. And now where it says pounds, we'll put the weight that we got from our calibration, which was 31.90. Once you have your weight in there, hit the green check mark. Now you can see that it's entered in there, and we're going to want to press over again. On this page it's telling us on tank one, our old calibration factor was 0.431. Our new calibration factor is 0.435. And the percent difference between the two is 1.15%. If you're satisfied with this calibration, you can hit the save button. If for some reason something's gone wrong with your calibration, but process and you don't want to save it, you can simply just clear out of there by hitting the green check mark and start over. We're going to hit the save button. Once it's saved, it'll have a green check mark. And now all we have to do is hit the green check mark and this tank is calibrated. Now that we got our machine calibrated, we're going to go back and we're going to verify that we did our calibration process right. So we're just going to go in, hit that multi-tank calibration again, automatic calibration, we'll have to press over on the yellow check mark. Now we're ready to go and we can verify that calibration just to make sure that we did everything right in our calibration process. The one thing that we don't have to do with this one is we don't have to charge the metering augers, they're already charged. Simply just have to put another pail under there and run a calibration.
So we'll run out another two thirds of a pail and then we'll wait and take that number back to the X30. Once it's done, we can pull it out and we can weigh the product. Take the weight, 28.75. Now we can go back to our X30 and we can enter that weight into it. We'll hit over the yellow side arrow. We'll hit where it says weight, actual. Now we can enter in that 28. Point seven five. Hit the green check mark. You'll see that that weight is now in there. We'll have to press over again. Now you can see our old cal factor and our new cal factor and the percent difference is less than 1%. So this verifies that we've done our calibration process right and we should be ready to go seeding now. So now all we have to do is hit the green check mark And now we can clear out of here. And now you'll be ready to go seeding. Now that we're done with our X30, we can come back to our tank and get it ready to go seeding again. We'll have to change our downspout from the metering augers, put them back into the required air streams. And then once we have that all clipped in, we'll want to go to our remote and hit the fan switch. Or you can simply just go and hit the stop button on your power button.